In this video, I'm going to show you how to create icons and splash screens for all the different platforms of your Quasar Framework app instantly. Previously, we had to create separate icons and splash screens for all the different versions of our Quasar Framework app, web, iOS, Android, Mac and Windows, in many different sizes. We can now do this instantly using Quasar's new Icon Genie extension. All we need to do is provide a single source image, install the Icon Genie app extension, and this will generate icons and splash screens for all the different platforms. So I have this Quasar app called Smart Chat running as a web app, an Electron app for Mac and a iOS app. And this is a chat app which allows users to have real time conversations. So on the Electron app, I'm logged in as Danny and on the iOS app, I'm logged in as Jim. So let's have a conversation. So I'm going to click on Jim on this one, click on Danny on this one. I'm going to say, hey, Jim, you're a massive ball bag. Okay, we see that message pop up on this one. And Jim's going to reply with, no, you're a ball bag. Then Danny says, no, you are. By the way, I'll be showing you how I made this app in a future video. So make sure you click subscribe and click the bell if you don't want to miss that. So you can see this app is still using the default Quasar icons. If we look on the web app, we can see the Quasar icon up here. And if we look at the Electron app, we can see the Quasar icon down here in the dock. And on the iOS version, if we just close that down, you can see the icon there. And if I shut it down completely and start it, you can see the Quasar splash screen as well. So let's use Icon Genie to replace these with new ones. So I'm going to jump over to the Quasar site at quasar.dev and jump to Docs, then Quasar Options and Helpers, and then App Icons. And it tells us here how to install the Icon Genie app extension. So I'm just going to copy this command, jump over to the terminal. I'm going to close the dev process and run that command. Okay, it says here we need to replace app-icon.png in the root of our project. And this should be 1240 by 1240. And it's asking us for some options here. So first of all, minify strategy to be used for development. I'm going to use this first one because it's the quickest. Now it's asking us for the production strategy. And I'll choose the default option again, which is the best quality for production. It says, please type a background color to use for your icons and splash screens. So I'm going to jump over to my app code and jump to source, CSS, then quasar.variables.style. I'm going to copy my primary color, which is this green color. Jump back to the terminal and paste that in. And Icon Genie will use this background color to fill out the space in our splash screens or in icons which don't support transparency if we choose to have a transparent icon. So let's run that. It says build strategy for Cordova splash screen. And I'm going to choose the second option, generate with background color and icon. So this will basically take our source icon and then fill out the space with the background color that we've specified. Always rebuild. I'm going to choose no to that that could slow down our development because it's going to rebuild every time we save anything. Okay, that's installed now. Now we need a source icon. So I'm going to use sketch to do this, but well, you can use whatever you like. Okay, so the source icon needs to be 1240 by 1240. So I'm just going to insert a rectangle and set this to 1240 by 1240. And I'm going to set the background color to the color that we copied before. And I'm going to grab a free icon that we can stick on here. So I'm going to jump to iconfinder.com. Search for chat. Uh, make sure free and vector are selected. So we only have three icons. This one looks pretty good. So I'm going to download that as an SVG. Drag that into sketch and I'm going to scale this up to about 800 pixels. And I'm just going to make this white instead of gray. I'm 
And I'm just going to convert this into an artboard by clicking on the rectangle, clicking insert artboard. And I'll just choose new from selection. I'm going to click on this chart icon, and center that with these buttons up here. And I'm going to add some radius to this square to make it a circle. And I'm just going to make that a little bit smaller as well. Okay, and this icon needs to be called app-icon. So I'm going to rename the artboard to app-icon. I'm going to click on the artboard, click make exportable, choose the default preset, and we can export this now. So I'm just going to find my project folder, Quasar Chat, and you can see that Icon Genie has already created a default app-icon file here. So we're just going to overwrite that. Click save. And now all we need to do to generate all the icons and splash screens from this is just to run our different dev commands. So I'm going to jump back to Finder. And before I run that dev process, if I go to source and then statics, then icons, you can see all the default Quasar web icons there for Apple, Android, and the Favicon as well. So now we just need to jump to terminal and run Quasar Dev. And you can see it's saying running Quasar Icon Genie app extension there. Okay, it's launched our app in the browser. If I just refresh that, we can now see our new icon up here. If we jump back to Finder, you can see it's generated icons for all these different sizes. Okay, so let's do the same for our Electron app now. So if I jump to Finder, and then dist, then electron, then smack chat. You can still see the quasar icon there. So if we just jump back to the terminal, close that process. This time I'm going to build it for production so we can actually see the icon. So I'll run quasar build dash m for mode electron. You can see it says running the icon genie app extension again. Okay, that's finished now. So let's jump back to Finder back to our Electron file, and we can now see our new icon there. Before we run that, I'm just gonna close the one that's still running. So we'll run that. Okay, the Mac app has started up, and we can see our lovely new icon in the dock. Let's do the same for the Cordova app now. I'm just gonna close the simulator, and we'll jump to the terminal, and we'll run Quasar dev dash M for mode Cordova dash T iOS it says here splash screens for Cordova requires a Cordova plugin which was not found and it's installing that for us pretty clever okay it started up the simulator okay we see our new splash screen and if we just close this see our new icon as well and if we want to make a change to our icon and splash screens, all we need to do is change that one source image, run our dev commands, and we're good to go. This is an absolute game changer and saves us hours of tedious work. Yet another great reason to switch to Quasar for cross-platform development. And if you want to check out my full course on Quasar where I cover all the basics of Quasar, Vue.js, Vuex, and Firebase, then jump over to dannys.link slash Quasar. And make sure you click subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss any future videos, especially the videos where I show you how to create this Smack Chat app.